Well, it's another day and it's another press conference here in the home in HQ with uh, Mr. Wallison. A consultation on Armed Forces Community Covenant. Over to you. What uh, is it? Th this is about recognising the link between the, the, our armed forces and the community in which we live in. They've been very much rolled out across the United Kingdom and this is about an Isle of Man recognition from the government through the societies right down to the individual level about that special relationship that we have with those who serve and those who have served in the Isle of Man. Do we need this? Uh, absolutely. I think this is about removing the barriers to accessing public services on the Isle of Man, just, um, which may have arisen just by virtue of those people not necessarily being on the island in order to access them. So we're talking about here where um, soldiers, sailors and airmen may be stationed overseas, are Manx citizens, and yet should still be able to access services in, in the same way as everybody else who's resident on the Isle of Man. But there's been no problems, no one's complained, nothing. This is just something that you want to consult about. Well, I think there have been problems over the years and um, it's been very much addressed on an ad hoc basis. Um, there's been uh, different examples where different services have, have identified problems. What we're looking to do is to make sure that there's a consistent theme to this, that um, there is, uh, we, we live up to our moral obligations to say that we're looking at this um, and... We, we will treat everybody equally, whether they live on the island or not, if they're a Manx citizen, even if they're serving overseas in the UK armed forces. It's a hefty little document, this. I mean, running to pages. Have you just cut and pasted this from the, the UK's version of it, or what they want to put through? V very much not. We've specifically tailored this to the Isle of Man because we recognise that the Isle of Man is in a very different situation from the UK. In the UK, it's between their government, the local authorities, and the, the armed forces community, whereas, of course, here... Um, the Isle of Man government is not uh, ultimately the employer of the British Armed Forces, so we've had to very much uh, differentiate it for that purpose. Um, but it is still nevertheless a commitment from our community to our soldiers, sales and airmen, past and present. Some might say you've got too much time on your hands to be doing this, when there's other things much more important. I, I think this is important um, in terms of the 300 people who are currently serving it from the Isle of Man and the British Armed Forces, um, not to mention the thousands who live on the Isle of Man who have served, um, whether it be as far back as sort of the uh, Second World War uh, and throughout the years since then. Um, I do think this is an important obligation that we should be living up to to those servicemen and women. But it's not going to change anyone's life, is it? It could do, um, depending on what the sort of barriers to uh, access we're f we find as a result of the consultation. And that they're the sort of things we're, we're keen to remove. OK, well, consultation's open. What, people, the public, you want them to get in touch, uh, look at this online and That's make right. their comments? That's right. And if they can come back to it by early October, we'd be grateful.